Good morning. Thank you for joining us and welcome to the 2020 Annual Awards Ceremony. I'm Commander Rob Carton, Executive Officer, Naval Surface Warfare Center, Panama City Division. Today I have the privilege to be a Master of Ceremonies. Due to the current circumstances with the COVID-19 pandemic, safety is a top priority for our command and personnel. In accordance with COVID-19 social distancing and mask wearing requirements, all segments have been pre-recorded, digitally enhanced, and compiled to ensure we are providing the ceremony as realistically as possible for our viewers. We are not able to recognize these individuals in person the way we would like to. However, the efforts and contributions of all nominees and winners have been significant, and it is with great pleasure that we recognize the hard work and talent we have at our Navy lab, even if it is through virtual means. At this time, please join me in welcoming NSWC Panama City Division Commanding Officer Captain David Buck. Thank you for joining us today for the 2020 Annual Awards. Welcome to the award winners, families and friends, and to the entire NSWC Panama City Division team. Before we get started on this year's awards, I would like to take a moment to remember our colleagues who passed away this past year. Stephen Mahan, Michael Benjamin, Luis Torres, Jeffrey Seskin, and Andrea McMillan. Let's join in acknowledging their lasting contributions to the work of NSWC Panama City Division. The work that we do each and every day in support of the world's greatest Navy is truly admirable, especially during this past year. 2020 was a very challenging year to say the least. COVID-19 came to the forefront and dramatically changed the landscape of how we work and go about our daily lives. It gave us terms like maintain your bubble and you're on mute. COVID-19 also inflicted havoc on our friends and families. 2020 also brought us joy and reasons to celebrate. We celebrated our 75th anniversary, the arrival of LCAC 100 and LCAC 101, and visits by the Secretary of the Navy and the Vice CNO. We also proved that maximum telework works and that we can get the job done no matter where we are. This year, we have 72 nominations for our annual awards. Today, we recognize our colleagues who gave their time and talents to make NSWC Panama City Division a great place to work. We recognize colleagues who went above and beyond expectations and succeeded in ways not previously thought possible. Hello, teammates. I think that no one could have imagined a year ago at this time that I would be virtually co-hosting the 2020 COTD Award Ceremony. This time last year, I was visiting our fleet partners at PAC Fleet and Indo PACOM as the Command's Mine Warfare Director. While there, early discussions were taking place about a virus that was originating in China. I could have never imagined that trip was the last TDY that I would take. At the time, I also had no inclination that I would be honored to serve as your next technical director. Reflecting on this year, I would use the words change, uncertainty, and resiliency to characterize it. Our command has changed leadership as Mr. Stewart left the command back in February. Mr. Walker ably stepped in to act as TD, and I was selected to permanently fill the position in July. Similarly, a change of command ceremony was held back in May as Captain Bach relieved Captain Peters as our commanding officer. The pandemic brought uncertainty to all of us as our way of doing business was significantly changed. Travel and on-site work to support mission essential efforts were dramatically curtailed. New processes and policies were implemented for all of us, which changed our way of life both personally and professionally. All of this coming on the heels of the devastation caused by Hurricane Michael. Yet through all of the change and uncertainty, you have demonstrated resiliency and commitment to execute the mission for our customers and ultimately for the warfighter as evidenced by the outstanding nominations that were submitted this year. Taking a deep dive into many of the projects and resources at the lab over the last five months, has further widened my lens to see our great organization, the people, the technical and business capabilities which we have at our fingertips, and the direct support that we are providing for our nation's warfighters as one team. Holding this event virtually is definitely a change of pace for me, having sat through many great ceremonies over the years at the Long Glass facility. Given the current conditions, we have collectively done a good job at being flexible, which includes a lot more virtual communication. Our efforts continue with recognizing the incredible individuals and teams here today. Thank you all for joining us for this year's annual award ceremony. Reading through all of the wonderful nominations was a pleasure as we got to take a closer look and understand what each of you do firsthand and all of the hard work that goes behind it. For this, I'd like to take a moment to recognize all of the nominees. Your work has contributed to the success of this command, the Navy, and the Marine Corps, 
and we thank you for all that you have done. Though COVID presented us with unprecedented challenges, each of you have adapted well and your work ethic did not waver. Congratulations to our recipients today. Commander Carton will now present the award ceremony. Now let's begin the 2020 annual award ceremony. Each year, NSWC Panama City Division's annual award ceremony recognizes our employees who have gone above and beyond in the performance of their duties. We'll start off with the patent awards. This portion of the ceremony celebrates innovation and ingenuity in support of the Navy's mission by recognizing those employees who are awarded patents in the U.S. Patent and Trademark Office in 2020. These patents demonstrate the division's status as the technical expert throughout the littoral battle space, as stated in our strategic campaign plan. They are also key contributors to our recognition as a partner and collaborator of choice. Many outside organizations seek to partner with us to further develop or commercialize the technologies developed by our inventors, with a goal to make those technologies readily available to the warfighter. The NSWC Panama City Division Inventor Society includes all division employees who are awarded a patent dating back to 1956. Every employee who earns a patent through the Navy's patent program is automatically introduced into the Inventor Society and has their name engraved on the Inventor Society plaque. The plaque hangs in the front lobby of Building 110. At this time, it is my pleasure to introduce our 2020 Patent Award winners, including our new members of the Inventor Society. Our first patent is for methods and systems for automated mission area segmentation. The inventors are John Highland and Cheryl Smith. Our next patent is for method and systems for performing magnetic anomaly sensing invented by Emily Mount and Neil Clausen. Our third patent is for a refillable gas tank with pneumatic valve controller. The inventors are Jacob Kornman, Brian Toole, and Kirk Van Zandt. Our next patent is for magnetic anomaly sensing system using two triaxial magnetometer sensors invented by Roy Waggart and Kurt Giardina. The fifth patent is for a breathing air tank pressure tracking system invented by Dennis Gallagher, Richard Manley, William Hughes, and two new inventors, Brian Wentworth and Brian Tian Lee. Our next patent is for marine biodegradable composition for 3D printing. The inventors are Josh Kogut, Matthew Kinser, and April Hirsch. This is the first NSWC Panama City patent for these inventors, so each is hereby inducted into the NSWC PCD Inventor Society. The next patent is for clearance measuring breakaway pencil hitch, invented by James Sobel. Our eighth patent is for a gas temperature reducing system for regulating delivery of a high pressure gas. The inventors are Jacob Kornman, Brian Toole, and Kirk Van Zandt. Our next patent is for an automatic vehicle depth regulation system. The inventor is Brian Reynoso. He is also a new member of the Inventor Society. The tenth and final patent is for the head up system for underwater faceplate. The inventors are Richard Manley, Brian Wentworth, Dennis Gallagher, William Hughes, and the newest member of the Inventor Society, Allie Williams. Congratulations to all of our 2020 inventors and patentees. And now, our COTD awards. The very first COTD award was presented to Mr. Orman Holly for support services back in 1975. Today we are presenting 12 annual award categories with five team awards and 10 individual awards. The quality of this year's nominees demonstrate the best of what we have all worked so hard to achieve in 2020. Individual awardees will receive a trophy and science certificate, as well as a reserved parking spot with their name on it for one year beginning in February. Team awardees will receive a team trophy and each team member will receive a signed certificate and lapel pin to commemorate their contribution. And now for our first award, the 2020 Collaboration Excellence Award presented to Dr. Cameron Matthews. Dr. Matthews is recognized for his efforts in creating new relationships and fostering existing partnerships with over nine organizations, including other warfare centers, while overseeing more than 20 individuals across three different departments and many career paths. Along with his collaboration, leadership, and organizational efforts, Dr. Matthews is regularly called upon to brief end users and program officers. Dr. Matthews collaborated across many projects to leverage external resources and make every dollar count. Congratulations. The 2020 Dr. David P. Skinner Outstanding Scientific and Engineering Award is presented to Dr. Robert Cole. 
Dr. Robert Cole is recognized for his exceptional engineering contributions towards characterizing and charting the path to overcoming the Landing Craft Air Cushion 100 Series number one technical issue. His developed action plan to gather and analyze propeller performance data, ensuring critical information was captured and analyzed, directly led to identifying valuable short-term solutions. These contributions significantly saved the program life on cost and provided more time while long-term solutions are researched. Congratulations, Dr. Cole. The 2020 Exceptional Technical Support Award is presented to Jessica Haig. Jessica is recognized for providing invaluable technical support across multiple disciplines, often supporting more than one of the disciplines simultaneously during the same event. Despite the challenges faced during the COVID-19 outbreak, Jessica provided critical contributions to ensure the baseline schedule would continue as planned. Jessica has impacted multiple entities internally and externally through her exceptional technical expertise, mentoring, and inspiring attitude. Great work and congratulations, Jessica. Leaders become great not because of their power, but because of their ability to empower others. The 2020 Exemplary Leadership Award is presented to Rachel Robinson. Rachel is recognized for her inspiring success in others and effectively leading many individuals and programs. Through her leadership, Rachel has established an extremely high level of customer satisfaction that ensures open communications, team working on problem resolution, and collaboration on future work efforts. Her work ethic is infectious, and she is the embodiment of a leader by example. Rachel's character, courage, and vision is to not only succeed personally, but to inspire success in her teams and individual team members has affected many. Congratulations, Rachel. The 2020 New Professional Exceptional Achievement Award is presented to Emily Kine. Emily is recognized for her impressive accomplishments over two years at NSWC Panama City in a short time on several large programs. She has come up with a viable new design concepts, lead system development, and worked directly with her sponsors and stakeholders to help inform their decision making. Emily does not wait until she is a senior employee to share her knowledge. As one of the first employees to complete the new professional program, Emily is a shining example of how the program can benefit the organization and individual. Great work, Emily. And now we come to our first team award for today. The 2020 Outstanding Fleet Support Award is presented to the Deployable Joint Command and Control Virtual Secure Enclave In-Servicing Engineering Agent Team, also known as DJC2 VSC ISEA Team. The DJC2 VSC ISEA Team includes Kevin Wooten, Zachary Hartley, Michael Baranchea, Wendy Najaki, John Trey Christmas III, James Jim Nelson, Manuel Manny Rodriguez. The DJC2 VSC ISEA team is recognized for their exceptional performance in installation events, rolling out the new version of the VSC baseline and supporting the Navy in determining how to use VSC in the future to protect our tactical networks from enemy intrusion. The team's success has garnered significant accolades from the fleet, including senior executive service level leaders, and more so by the fact that the US 10th Fleet is considering establishing VSE as the Navy's primary tactical operations network. Congratulations. As a Naval Research Development Test and Evaluation Laboratory, this next award highlights one of our division's top focus areas, innovation. Today, the 2020 Outstanding Innovation Award is presented to the EX-28 team. The EX-28 team includes Brian Toole, Kirk Van Zant, Jacob Kornman, Dylan Galatis, Anthony Bleichner, Jonas Hudson, Al Porteous, and Frank Crane. The EX-28 team is recognized for using technical talent and skill, innovative problem solving, dedication, teamwork, and determination to successfully deliver the required five production units to Naval Experimental Diving Unit while achieving the seemingly impossible deadline. The EX-28 team developed two additional capabilities during the certification process, providing more capability than originally envisioned. The Emergency Life Support Vertical Insertion System and the controlled oxygen breathing apparatus was also developed as an emergency backup. Through creativity and innovation, the EX-28 team made the seemingly impossible doable. Great work and congratulations. This year, we proudly present the Outstanding Organizational Support Award to three individuals. All are from the business codes, Kamal Patel, Leslie O'Brien, and David Neat. First, and in no specific order, we recognize Kamal Patel. Kamal's tedious work, dedication to the command and warfare centers, and expertise has been vital to the Comptroller Department and the NSWC Panama City. 
Despite restrictions encountered this year, Kamal still trained two new accountants and two successful training events. Due to her tedious work of compiling backup documentation and manually transferring documentation in the two final days of the fiscal year, she saved the command $118,000. Kamal has gone above and beyond her job responsibilities and paved a way despite current conditions to ensure success and growth for the command. Up next, Ms. Leslie O'Brien. Leslie is recognized for her noteworthy accomplishments, resulting in positive outcomes for the command. She has achieved establishing acquisition goals in a timely and affordable, cost-effective manner, saving the government approximately $1.48 million in fiscal year 2020, and also tutors others with her contracting knowledge. Leslie plays a significant role in implementing the strategic plan of NAVC and the NSWC Panama City. Congratulations, Leslie. Lastly, for the Outstanding Organizational Support Award, we recognize David Neat. Dave is recognized for his enhancement and innovation of the onboarding program. Within 18 hours, Dave reconstructed the in-person onboarding lessons to become a virtual format and has worked diligently to continually modify and improve the program, resulting in an average rating of 4.75 out of 5 on satisfaction and effectiveness for the year. Dave's contributions, innovation, and ability to quickly modify has had an outstanding effect on the command and new hires. Congratulations, Dave. Our Outstanding Program Success Award recognizes the Clandestine Delivered Mine Project Team, known as the CDM Team. The CDM Team includes Marty Richardson, Stephen Hoyer, Tony Simpson, John Sojehi, Steve Akeen, Matt Worrell, Jim Keith, Donnie Kipper, Austin Schwartz, Matt Naughton, Jordan Baldock, Philip Senderstorm, Steve Crawley, and Raymond Myers. The CDM team is recognized for designing, building, and demonstrating the U.S. Navy's first ever remote control of a maritime minefield. The CDM team accomplished this while reducing the burden of verification and validation testing by months, if not years, and reduced the size to one-third of the original size. This will become a useful tool for today's naval fleet. Great job, team. The 2020 Outstanding Team Achievement Award is presented to two teams, the Prevent Team, and the Mine Countermeasures Mission Package Test and Evaluation Team, or MCM MP T &E Team. The Prevent Team includes Dr. Andrew Shiko, Dr. Greg Murphy, Dr. Christopher Musto, Jason Scott, Michael Kirk, Gavin Taylor, Dustin Bride, Jesse Waymeyer, Holly Gardner, Bill Ramey, and Greg Halbrook. The Positive End Expiratory Pressure Regulated Emergency Ventilator Prevent Team is recognized for their design of a low-cost ventilator for COVID-19 patients that can be assembled from parts found at a hardware store using a set of simple instructions and was developed in under two months. The United States Special Operations Command Vulcan platform launched a hack event challenge resulting in 172 responses. Only five prototypes were recommended, Prevent being the one and only from a government team. Congratulations. Up next, the MCM MP t and &E team including Dr. Aaron Cotton, Amanda Elkins, LaDerek Smedley, Jason Newton, Bruce Potemkin, Jonathan Shiver, Shin Min Zhu, Nate Waldstein, Logan McCall, Gabriel Perez Figueroa, Jeffrey Blankenship, Russ Wilson, Mike Sullivan, Nicole Pagan Montanez, Douglas Gardino, Steen Jensen, Tui Tran, and Robert Gillardi. The Mine Countermeasures Mission Package Test and Evaluation Team is recognized for their cooperative efforts and collaboration supporting many events on the littoral combat ship and on vessels of opportunity. The team provided critical personnel and subject matter experts and was the backbone for all significant test events leading up to the initial operational t and &E. Well done and congratulations. Now please welcome the recipient of the 2020 Technical Excellence Award, Leonard Maxwell. Leonard is recognized for his outstanding body of technical work on air cushion vehicle systems, including both the Landing Craft Air Cushion Program and Ship to Shore Connect Program. Leonard also plays an active role in mentoring new engineers. The U.S. Navy and the NSWC Panama City Division benefit greatly from the senior technical positions Leonard holds, the guidance, and the hands-on experience he provides. Congratulations. Our final award of the day is the 2020 Hall of Fame Award. This year's Hall of Fame recipient is Mr. Stephen Hudson. Steve was unable to be photographed and will receive his award on a later date. 
Steve's long and distinguished career in support of data collection for the intelligence community has had a significant impact on many projects, individuals, and the command. Steve transformed a niche group into a significant organization with numerous projects delivering vital strategic intelligence in support of our country's security. After retirement, Steve was acquired for two different terms as a retired annuitant. His greatest effect, though, was in the area of professional development and mentoring. Steve single-handedly built the next generation of leaders within the NSWC Panama City Division Intelligence Collection Community. For the long-term effects of being an innovative engineer, extraordinary manager, unparalleled leader, and gifted mentor, Steve is recognized as a 2020 Hall of Fame recipient. At this time, we will now conclude the award ceremony. Thank you for joining us today, and congratulations to all of our awardees.